Hi guys and welcome to my weekly eBay review of film cameras and other photographic equipment that is coming up for sale normally on a Sunday evening which is the most popular time for film used and digital cameras and uh, I tend to focus on just the film stuff as that's what my passion is. Anyway, I um, hope you like the video. I'm just focusing on the cameras that I find interesting. They're not super expensive Leicas and Hasselblads. They are the everyday camera that normal people would contemplate buying um, to help them with their film photography. Anyway, without further ado, I hope you like this video. And if you do, please feel free to like and subscribe for regular content on all sorts of eclectic things that I'm interested in. So without further ado, let's crack on. Hello and good evening. The uh, the uh, review will be for eBay film camera sales and we're looking at on uh, Sunday the 22nd of October. Probably around 5 p.m. Um, filming this on the Saturday, so it's about 20 odd hours away. Anyway, uh, <clears throat> rather than waffle through hours and hours of potential cameras, I was going to do a video on basically the cameras that I have bought and lenses in the last two weeks of eBay, uh, but I haven't done that video yet. So we're going to do another look at the eBay cameras that I would be personally interested in and I think are good bargains. So we're going to do that. Now, if you like this sort of content, I try and do a weekly eBay sum up of film cameras that I think are interesting. Uh, and I do lenses, large format, medium format, 35 mil and other sizes of of cameras so um, if you do like that sort of content please like and subscribe to this channel to find lots of other content on lots of other things as well anyway so let's crack on what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip through me just randomly looking at cameras that I quite like and I'm going to cut to the chase we are looking at cameras for sale at the moment here um, time ending soonest and on eBay and in the UK only. So those in the States or anywhere else, the actual cameras that I'm interested in would be the same, uh, but obviously we won't be showing those on, on this video, but the same theories apply. Anyway, let's crack on. So the first one that caught my eye was this Canon TLB. Now these things, as I've said before, are built extremely solidly and are very reliable if you can get a good one so the mirror foam looks to be good <coughs> and uh, the shot speed only goes up to 500th of a second which is perfectly adequate for most people i saw this one last week actually it was still in for sale or we didn't sell because it was probably overpriced you can see there's a dent on the top the top's obviously been open before bottom of the camera is a bit rough and it looks like the light seals definitely need to be sorted and it says there's a dent on the top plate and the wind on leave and the bottom plate have been scuffed uh, there's dust blah 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 and it takes a weird battery so the TLB is a nice camera if you can find a nice one now it's 29.99 UK pounds and it was probably starting bid around that last time and I don't think anybody would have bought it uh, it's just too much there's another one down here as you can see for 35 it's got new seals meter working and it looks to be in much better nick so that's a good example of where you should run a mile because dents mean the camera's been dropped and uh, light seals are a pain it's going to take you probably about an hour of frigging around with uh, various solutions to get the old ones off and then you've either got to cut or apply new light seals and hope and pray that the first film is not ruined by light leaks so anyway that will be that off my list for sure and then we have a lovely little olympus om10 which is a good good buy actually and it's got a charity symbol so this is probably just stock clearance uh, the top plate looks to be in very good condition it's got a 1.8 50 mil lens on it and it looks pretty clean to be honest it comes with a carry case the lens looks pretty clean uh, the case is a bit tatty but who cares and uh, so yeah good good start of camera see what it says about that little uh, camera uh, blah 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 item description 
Okay, case included, generously donated, generally good condition, free of fungus, not tested, blah, blah, blah. So 29 pounds is a good price if you can get it for around that. Now again, we've got nearly 22 hours to go and it's already had seven bids. One worth having a look at, but uh, I don't think it will go for 29 pounds. Are you looking for a small point and shoot? Here's a Konica EFP2. It's got a 38 mil uh, fixed lens and uh, nice little camera. They are small cameras and Konica are, are renowned to be a, a good make over the years. The only thing I've noticed is the light seals are definitely um, dodgy and needing replacing. But uh, apart from that, not bad little camera. It's got no bids, it's £6.99, so about $10. And again, it's from the same charity and it's untested and that's about all it says. But if you wanted to do a little fixer up at point and shoot, that would be a nice little camera. Plus the fact that I think it uses DX coding so you can whack in any film. So I did notice on the front of the lens you can adjust the ISO. So it's of that era where they didn't have the DX coding. So it looks to be quite nice. Speaking of starter cameras, the Nikon EM M90 has got a lens with it and strangely a motor drive, which I would suggest you take off and take the batteries out and never use because the last thing you want to do is be whipping through film at the rate of knots, especially at 10 pounds plus a roll. So that's of little use really. Um, yeah, it doesn't look too bad. It looks to be in quite good condition. They're quite sought after little auto cameras. As you can see, it's pretty much automatic with a shutter priority it's got a filter on the front lens so hopefully that saved it from the usual abuse that these cameras do get uh, the top plate looks quite clean it's got a 1.850 mil lens uh, it's probably not far off worth that for the lens and uh, you can buy it for 65 starting bid 40 maybe somewhat overpriced at the 65 but uh, you're in for that sort of uh, point and shoot no-brainer camera as long as it works that's not a bad one to go for another one here is this uh, me uh, large format 4x5 camera now this is going a uh, starting bit of 950 which i suggest is is the going money it does look absolutely immaculate it's got the dark slides and if you're into large format photography of course which i am you will find that these sort of cameras do go for a lot of money. Uh, this one seems to be complete. It's got some beautiful woodwork and the bellows look in absolute pristine condition. Metal and wood construction. It is a good camera um, and it's it's got the Schneider 150mm 5.6 Simon S lens. Nice lens. Uh, comes with a Mamiya carry case and 11 dark slides. Dark, 4x5 dark slides, you could pay something like 20 quid a dark slide. So yeah, hmm, you're, uh, you know, you're already at sort of a couple hundred quid just for the dark slides alone. It says it's handmade from China in Walnut and it's the sort of camera that I will be semi-interested in. But having said that, it is £950, so it's kicking in at quite a high starting price. Um, I'm sure it will go for more than that. And here is the Canon FTB QL for quick load. It's 35mm SLR and it's got a lens, a 1.8 lens at that, which at first sight doesn't seem to be too bad. FTB again, built like tanks. Nice semi-automatic, it has thousands of shutter speed and obviously the aperture on the lens. It looks to me, from what I can see from these very blurry, suspicious photographs, that the light seals will need to be replaced at the very least. The battery um, door and the spring and everything look to be in good condition. And if you look at the description, it says that the shutter works at all speeds, including self-timer, but they haven't tested it because they don't have a battery. That is quite suspicious. Uh, so we're not sure about the light meter, but you know, if you buy some of these old cameras, you've got to use your own light meter anyway. Uh, so yeah, not bad. Starting price is too high, I would say. 
but ultimately it may go for more than £50. Here's a Mamiya 135EE which I did bid on last week uh, but uh, it didn't meet its reserve. Uh, starting bid at £12. You can buy it now, price was 45 I think I considered it was probably worth about 15 or would like to have got it for 15 Obviously didn't. I would say definitely the light seals need to be worked on and replaced. It looks to me like it is in fairly good condition. It's an automatic camera. The front lens looks like it's quite dirty, but not a bad point and shoot camera if you can get it at the right price. The Voigtlander Vito 2A camera, uh, it says it's uh, for parts not working, the shutter's jammed. Uh, if it's like Vito, uh, Vito B, uh, which I have a few of, the only way the shutter will fire is if it has film in it or you open the back and you manually wind on the cog for the film so that it moves it to the next frame. Uh, so a lot of people mistakenly think that the shutter is jammed but it just needs to either have a dummy film in there or it needs to be wound on with by opening the back. Uh, I like these ones, they've got the pop-out front lens. It's um, quite a nice looking lens. It's pretty dirty but having said that, not, not a bad camera. Uh, it's going 99p at the moment so I would say uh, it's going to go for a cheap price because it says the shutter is jammed, which I don't believe it is, but I think it's been a bit abused with perhaps potentially with someone trying to use the shutter. But quite often you have to wind on the film on some of these cameras for the shutter to release to fire. Here's a nice little Canon T50, it says that it's in full working condition with a 35 to 70 lens. Again, it's a charity. $14.99. There's nothing, absolutely nothing wrong with these cameras. They're great little cameras. Um, automatic, pretty much. Point and shoot, SLR. This one looks to be in very good, clean condition. Even the bottom looks to be very clean as well. I wonder why charity shops have got this need to open the back of the camera when they know there's a film in the camera and therefore they are going to ruin the film by opening the back. So there's a film that could have had some somebody's past photographs on it which could have been developed and sent to them but no, they've decided to open the back of the camera. Anyway, at $14.99 it's got a bid on it but uh, they're probably going to go for a bargain price for a starter camera that is absolutely fantastic. And then when we go for the slightly newer brother of the T50, we've got the T70 here with a speed light flash case camera lens. It's all there and it looks to be in pretty dirty condition. What looks like a lot of sand on that lens. Mm, not the greatest combination, camera with sand, but maybe it'll be cleaned up. 50 quid I'd say is too much for the starting price on a T70. It says it's all working and good, but uh, I will probably steer clear of that one, even though with a clean up it probably looks quite good, but who knows how much of that sand and rubbish have gone inside the camera. Here's a nice little OM10 Olympus that says working and it is from a charity. So we're not quite sure of the condition. It's got the manual adapter, as you can see, to create a truly manual option for the camera. So you've got manual shutter speed and aperture if you need it. It comes with what can only be described as a dated case, but a lot of stuff here. So we've got the camera and the lens it's on the camera but then we've got these other lenses um, which are quite good uh, well they look okay they don't show you pictures of the actual lens but they've got skylight filters on them or at least this one has the 50 mil one and uh, that's pretty good nothing wrong with that lens at all it's a 1.8 and uh, looks to be in quite a good neck uh, they've got a quite a collection of stuff there for it starting bid 69.99 no bids at the moment imagine that won't go for too much money and is well worth having a look at. As a matter of interest you can always look at these cameras and you can see the number of watches that are looking at them. So 23 watches on this 35 uh, Olympus. Um, you know that that's people are watching it because they're sort of interested but they're kind of also knowing that the price is probably going to go a little bit ballistic. So they're just watching it at the moment. This is 
Oopsie, can't read it. 799. Uh, it's going to go for a lot more. It's got a 1.7 lens and is a nice camera. So be warned of those. The more watches and the more bids that you have, the more likely that the camera is going to go for a lot of money because a lot of people have shown interest in it. Uh, as is this Canon uh, AV1 camera. It's got 30 watches on it at the moment and three bids. So obviously the £16 is quite misleading on that. I begin to think that maybe the pricing on a lot of cameras have peaked. People have realised that they're spending a fortune on cameras and most of them need a fair bit of work to get them working reliably. Uh, probably two to three times the price of the camera just to make it work properly. So maybe the whole camera market is, is peaking at the moment and will possibly even go down. Hopefully, anyway, it's way too high at the moment. Okay, so here's a Chinon CM4S uh, with a, a Chinon 50mm f1.9 uh, prime lens. Um, you know, what's not to like, really. It says it works, the speeds are okay. It looks pretty clean. Uh, I can't see any sort of major bangs or drops. The leatherette looks fine. The bottom of the camera looks okay. The battery compartment does look a bit dubious, but they say it is untested with a battery, so that may be a bit of a sign that there's a problem there. And the light seals look like they're pretty naked on the way out, at least, or on the way out now. Uh, but at the moment, it's £13.50, so about $15. I would say the lens at the moment is worth at least that much. Uh, so the camera is okay. Chinons are very underrated cameras and great cameras really. I've got a few of them that never let me down. And uh, basically it makes a great starter camera if anybody's interested. So maybe for 20 pounds you've got a camera that's almost ready to go. These reviews, by the way, are not to marvel at the Hasselblads and the Leicas and all the rest of them that are going for ridiculous money on here. Roly 35 Classic. Oh, what a lovely camera. It's only £995. Well, you can keep it at £995. Um, they're just way overpriced and not worth looking. If you're a pure collector and looking up for investment value, then maybe. Um, but for the majority of us, way, way too expensive. Now, here's a lovely camera, the Pentax P30N. Uh, I'm a bit of a fanboy of these, because I've got a few, and although it's got a zoom lens on it, which isn't the greatest, uh, the actual cameras are great. This one looks to be in pretty good condition, and uh, they are so good and reliable, these cameras. They just do what they say they're gonna do, and they do it very reliably. I've shot loads of films through them. Generally speaking, the light seals are generally okay and good. This has got a price of 55,099 starting bid on at six pounds 99. It is a charity and it says it's untested, but um, the zoom lens lets it down a bit. Would have been better with a prime lens on it. But yeah, if you can find one of these cameras cheap, this one was to go for 20, 30 pounds. It's worth that money all day long. And I think they are great cameras. So, hey guys, if you like this sort of content and it comes out weekly uh, for the eBay reviews, um, please like and subscribe to my videos and um, give me some feedback in the comments down below and I'll try and keep these as regular as possible. I also do videos on lots of other subjects, including restoring cameras, uh, letterpress printing, camera de cedar, drawing, painting, and all sorts of other stuff. So stay tuned and hopefully uh, you'll be able to tune into my eclectic uh, tastes. Cheers and till the next time. See you then.